Hello, my beautiful besties. Uh, this song I bring you today is called Train Kept a Rollin'. It's by Johnny Burnett. Let's go check it out. Energy that this man, you know, generates when this song is incredible. Not only the energy, you know, the power of the track, you know, uh, it's just so heavy, so forceful. For 1956, that's incredible stuff, man. Um, it, it, you know, it just hit me from the very, very first note. You know, uh, I just thought, Phew. I can imagine what this would sound like, you know, in 1956, coming from the speakers. They probably scare people. They'd be like, "What is this?" Um, <laughs> great stuff and also his singing reminded me of Elvis as well it's, it's got that sound <laughs> you know it's got that Elvis thing going on there you know I don't know who um, who was first um, I'm not sure what year Elvis had his first hit um, I, I don't know I'm just trying to see if Elvis had a hit in 1956 or not uh, trying to see who um, was before who but anyway let's get some more Well, I guess if you if you like um call a song a uh, train kept rolling, you know the music can be like um placid or <laughs> the music can't be placid or mellow. You know it has to come like you know driving at you like a train, and that's what he's done here. You know, and um, not only does he you know have that Elvis thing going on, but he also moves like Elvis as well. You know, he's got the guitar and then he's got you know that move. So, Elvis, I'd like to hear from you guys. You know, who was before who? Because maybe this is not his first hit, and maybe it was like this a few years ago. I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys would tell me. But um, I definitely see an Elvis thing going on there with him. And his voice, there's also another guy, um, Jim Vincent, I think it is. Was it Jim Vincent? Who did that song? Um, you know that song? He also reminds me of Jim Vincent as well. Uh, so that's Jim Vincent and Elvis. Um, but um, in the comment section, I am sure you guys will educate me. Um, Let's get some more.
so much power, man. I love that. And also the guy on the standing bass, he was wicked as well, man. He was he was like the driving, you know, guy with the song with his bass line, you know. And um, the guy on the guitar, you know, wasn't bad as well. Um, three of them, they made like a you know fantastic sound. Um, I I loved it. Um, but it was the power that the guy brought, and you know, the energy and the track as well. It was just, um, well, I guess it's it's like a moving train. <laughs> You know what the power of a moving train is? You cannot stop the moving train. That's exactly what this song sounded like to me. It's like you can't, you couldn't stop it. You know, it had so much drive, so much energy, so much rhythm. Um, it must have sounded like something serious, you know, in 1956. People must have heard it and thought, what is this? You know, um, it's a shame that I could never experience that feeling, you know, because um, it's not the same hearing it today. Um, it's those who heard it then who can really tell what it felt like. Um, I'm really, really looking at, you know, forward to the comment section with this song. You know, I want to hear, I want to share your experiences through you guys. Um, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please, uh, once again, give the video a big like for me, uh, for the YouTube guys. If it was your first time here today, you just found my channel. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come back again. Hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Uh, look forward to having you. Take care, guys. Stay safe wherever you are out there. Most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. And I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.